Hello, brother. Wait a second. Let's see if we can get some sound working here. I don't hear you. Hello? Hello? You can't hear me? Wait a second, wait a second. Try, try again. There we go. Now I can. I had to hit the, I had to hit a button. Okay, wait a second. I got you. Yeah. I can't see how I look, so I apologize. What's you, that? You... I didn't hear what you said there, brother. I said, "How are you doing, my friend?" I. Ah. Oh. Hey, there we go. I got you now. I got you now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. All right. <laughs> We're coming. We're getting together here. We're coming together here. Slowly but surely. Let's have a meeting. Let's have a meeting. We haven't had a meeting for a while. It's been, uh, I, feel, I feel like you kind of dropped off the side of the earth a little bit. Yeah, I had to do that. I needed to shut down. I needed to... Um... Uh, reset. I needed to reset. We all got to reset sometimes. That's nothing wrong with that. That's nothing I, wrong. I do, as I said before, I apologize. I felt you deserve proper respect and, and focus. And as you've seen in the beginning, I'm I, I've been pretty scattered with a lot of things. So uh, I'm trying my best to hold it today and uh, move forward the best I can with what I got and get back to a sustainable living and helping who I can along the way. <laughs> Bro, we, we all, we all are, you know, in this, in a state of transition, we're all in a state of transition, right? It's ongoing. It's ongoing. It's ongoing for all of us. We're all trying to get better and uh, we all get better the same way. We all get better by falling down and getting ourselves up again and falling down and getting ourselves up again. This is how it happens. Yes, I agree. Right? That's what there's, there's 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 no failure unless we just stay down. Well, hey, I, I failed more times than most people are willing to try, so I'm okay right. with that. <laughs> so, so no failure if we keep on getting up again. Trey, how you doing? How's things? <laughs> I love the new room. I love that. Do you? Oh, it's gorgeous for, for one. Boy, quite quite the ambient. But um, it's a hot, cold thing. What is it? Um, infrared? Yeah, the, what like, is it? Sauna? The, 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 yeah, this is sauna. Like I've got, I've, I don't have it really hot or anything. I just got it at basically 25 degrees. So it's not super hot in here right now, but I can turn the heat up. But I also, but you can also turn on like the infrared light. Right, right. So You're right safe. now I'm just being treated by the infrared light, which is just a frequency. It's a vibration, a frequency that's, sort of treating me uh, and giving me like, it's, it's a light that, that comes from the sun. So right. uh, infrared is one of the lights of the sun. So so is UVA and UVB, ultra, ultra, ultraviolet, all the colors of the light spectrum that comes from the sun. Best, best vitamin D you can get. Right, and the, he the healing of the, the sun is what makes all the fruits and vegetables, all the raw foods. So, so it's the light of the sun that cooks and prepares the foods that heal our bodies. We need to get back out in the sun more often. I we need to get out more in, the, uh, more in the sun, especially if we live in the north. Like up here, we need to look at the sun. Oh, yeah. Looking at it's hard on the eyes, but okay. Yep. So in the morning, if you look at it in the morning... Bef like when it just comes up or in the afternoon when it's just going down right or if you're if it's during the middle of the day just close your eyes and look at it look towards it and just gaze towards it with your eyes closed for a couple of minutes let the let let the light come in we need that light awesome awesome so your health is good you're still consistent i'm sorry mostly for that if you needed product and i wasn't there to get them because you did want an order um, so I hate seeing a break in routine of, of consumptions, as you know, being the raw guy, 
uh, nutritionalist. If you break that, it'll break your, your pattern of health. So um, let's get things back on track if we can. I, I love that, brother. I, I really love that you want to get back on track because I would really love to do something with you and these products. Like, I want to talk about some products a little bit today because, you know, I've been learning a lot about these products just over the last year. Like, I'm pretty new to it. I'm only only a year into it. and uh, but, but I love it. And I, and I look to you as an authority on these products and and i appreciate your guidance with these products and that's why i wanted to to talk about the products like with you actually you know so that we could get some product knowledge from someone that i know that's really like i mean that's you've what been, i want to do you that's have you have been i want to teach that that's that's what you want to do yeah i i, I appreciate the opportunity uh, the compliment is 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 too kind. I, that's exactly how I I had hoped somebody would accept uh, the knowledge that I have to offer on on proper proper introduction to a to any walk of life, whether it's an injured or unhealthy body or even a healthy body. To once we activate the cannabinoid system, then finding the balance to just maintain regular um, homeostasis in in your biology which should be everybody's goal, shouldn't it? Homeostasis? This is it. This is what we want. We want to come back to balance. We want to come back to who and what we truly are. And that's that's natural balance, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, any specific questions, I can um, uh, gladly pull off the top of my head some pretty good information. Um, and I like shooting from the hip. It keeps that natural vibe of being honest as well with people and unscripted. And I think today that really reaches a different crowd, um, to be honest. Um, I can script things if you want more specifics in any way of planning for videos and stuff like that as we've talked. Um, if there's an area you specifically want to target. Um, otherwise, I'm, I, I, love, I love the Q and A's too. If you've got something you want That's to it. ask. I'd, li I'd, like to I'd like to just you know fire some information and share a little bit with you. And, and let you just, you know, fr free chat just about some of these things that, that I'm learning about. Because I'm the, I'm the new rookie here with these products, and I'm looking to you as my senior advisor. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best to not disappoint and give you as factually accurate information as I can. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So, like I say, I mean, just to share my experience with this stuff, I'm only a year into it. I, I got started with with um, CBD, uh, THC, he hemp oil products for the first time um, one year ago, and it was just really something that it happened really because COVID nineteen hit, and because of that, everything was locked down. And for that reason, I just happened to have the free time to be out riding my bike with my dog. And I bumped into a guy down at the park and we talked for a few hours just about health, just about success, just about, you know, positive things, which I just tend to do talk about. And we got talking for a few hours. And then after a few hours of talking about natural health, this guy says, well, let me tell you something. I, I've, I've got a product that I think you really should try. And, and, I, and at the time when, I, when, I, when he offered it to me, I was a little bit reluctant because I haven't been using any products at all for years. Like I used to be big into products and supplements and substances as a competitive bodybuilder. And yeah. so I, I've, I've gone the opposite way and I've been, you know, really adamantly against products for years and years and years. So I didn't want to put anything in me at all. And then this guy that I just meet at the park for a couple of hours, he says something about, you know, a hemp oil product. And I was interested because I've had 30 years of hemp use, but I'm going to call it more hemp abuse. Yep. Yep. Well stated. Because because I now understand, and what I'm coming to understand is that there really there's there's just a, a a massive misunderstanding about this plant. Preaching to the choir. 
<laughs> this this plan has been bastardized and lumped up with that idea of drugs. Do you know why? Please <laughs> let me hear what you say about that. I can tell you exactly why. Because this plan has been around forever and it, and it goes all the way back. We have data of it being used in oils, healing oils in, in ancient times were infused with botanical. Many different forms of botanicals we know have been turned into medicine. <laughs> you know, the opioids is, is gone pandemic with it because people become dependent on it. But where did things like um, your basic medicines all came from botanicals, finding them in flowers, infuse them with these oils and apply them. Um, It'll heal people. That's why they demonize the plant, in my opinion. Okay, so, so let me just let me, let me just get clear on what you're saying there. They demonized the plant because they wanted to take control and sell like other kinds of medicines. Pharma is 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 big business. It truly is, and it's a man-made product. And any of the old shamanic views, if you look in all shamanic practices before we had what today calls science medicine is Modern very day different. science mainstream science yes now we need to find that middle ground because there are many good uh, medicines that have come from science but there's also a plethora and tons of history in our and archaeological findings of where hemp's have been used in healing practice. Um, also, as you stated, I have to compliment how you more abused it than medically used it. People who just smoke to get high don't realize they're even medicating and helping their body at the time. So that state of mind of abuse is an individual's addictions and, and trauma dealings. And as you know, in psychology is a different avenue so we medicate with our band-aids any way we can. And I'm not going to shame anybody who needs a drink or needs to smoke a puff just to catch or a break. Eat or, or shop or fuck or whatever else people need to do to try to get through their day. This is what it's about. We're not, we're not saying anybody's good or bad here. And I don't want to label anyone as good or bad because they smoke or they don't smoke. Or, but, but, but what I'd say after 30 years of being a smoker is if, you, is it, is if a smoker of marijuana that if you wanted to, to stop that habit, that I think that there is an alternative way that people Men. can go. And I think it really happens by some new education because we need to understand what's going on and why this happened and how Absolutely. it's happened. And, and uh, you know, recognize that we're, we're, we've been led into something, into a habit and, and then also that that substance has been you know called a drug and labeled as bad so people don't go over to it propaganda and programming of generations is what has transpired since the, this began back with jay Gahoover, hoover uh, with the fbi after they busted all the um bank robbers they ran out of things to do so they started demonizing the plant but we also know what it did for the pulp and paper industry they were now the pulp and paper industries could have been um, affected greatly by the ability of the male side of hemp, which is very strong, very high in protein values as well, whereas the female is more medicinal. And again, proper education, like you state, is a, is, is a necessity in reality of truths about what the plant can do for one another. As you know, proper introduction, you can either hit it hard like you did or you slowly introduce it to somebody's body, it a physio, the physiological changes that occur um, in a healthy body, we've noticed it'll help muscle recuperation times, it'll help sleep patterns, it'll help diet in a healthy body. But we also know in the unhealthy body, um, endogenous eating it will uh, greatly boost that cannabinoid system again uh, to help heal many, 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 many different forms of ailments is a fact. And again, it comes back to big bucks, I think, and ignorance. People are greedy and want to get profit control, off the stick. Control. Again, it's like harness it and then try to sell it back to the population. Uh, 
but but selling it back to the population and i want to talk about that in a dosage form that's probably not really helpful or as helpful as it could be or as it should be or as it can be but uh, let me also say that the last year that i've been using this product i have like fallen in love with the transformation that this product can do and make inside of your body it, it is like seriously the the hemp it ingested is nothing like the hemp that's smoked like I know yeah. that there are I know that there are people that have certain sorts of Tourette's and certain sort of jerky kind of para plastic type of um, movements. Palsies. Yes, palsies. Palsies. Yes, sclerosis and things like this. That that when they do smoke it, that that there is a calming, and I see that that does treat some people like that absolutely many mental illnesses as well so so i'm not i don't want to i don't want to take everything away from the smoke i don't want to i don't want to blanket it as, as a negative thing for everyone because it is helpful for very many people like that yeah. however when we smoke it that's nothing compared to what what happens when you eat it like for <laughs> healing anything yeah. i mean anything in your body like from cancer to a cut to a burn like th this product, if you rub it on or ingest it or both, it heals the body. It heals the body. It's a product that legitimately heals the, pro the body if used in the right dosages for you and your body over the right amount of time. Very key, right dosages. Very, right, very well said. Right dosages, because what's happened now is They've they've made the, they've made their own products, obviously, yeah. and then they're selling them back. But they're selling them back in a milligram strength that's one third oh, of, what you, of what you need. One one thousandth, even. I, I call it the pinch in the pond technique. Um, they'll they they'll they'll stand over a vat of their oil they'll put a pinch of the product in and test it like it's chlorine in a pool give it a shake and go okay we got to test this is how much if you go buy off the shelves i think it's like 0.25 milligrams of the product well here's Wait, two products that i was using off the shelf before i bumped into you brother right right okay yep i bought these products at the at the dispensaries I was I'm using like these products. Well, I tell you, like I said, I bumped into someone last year. He gave me some because he was he was in, he was liking the fact that we were talking on a weekly basis, and so he gave me a six month hemp oil trial, and I used that, and I fell in love with that. And somehow my phone died, and I lost contact with that guy. And I thought, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to get this stuff again. I started going to the dispensary and using these products. And then I somehow bumped into you. And I'm so grateful that I did. And you got me back onto the RSO product. But just right. to give you a comparison, these two products, this product here is per squirt. Like, I mean, compared to the squirt of your product, which, which is here, the THC product, I think it's, is it 500 milligrams or 300 milligrams? Five, 500. 500 milligrams per drop. This is 10 milligrams, micrograms per, per squirt. Oh, and this one is 25. Right. Our bottle has 500 in the entire bottle. Each squirt full, full um, eyedropper is about 33.33 milligrams per eyedropper of THC is what you would get. Okay. So this one's 10 and this one's 25. Right. So you're getting a lot more. So three times this one and about 15 or 20% on top of this one. And price-wise comparable? <laughs> well, you know, like, like this product was $110 at the oh. so So for a product that is 10 or 15% less in dose, it costs about twice the price. More than that, I, I think our right. THC, our right. THC. So, so, so the so we can we can beat everyone on milligram strength, quality, and and price. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Better product, a better um, percentage of actual medicine in the product at a far better price. It's absolutely the way to go. Um, and, and, and if you can so, get the education in the way, I, I'm happy to give it. So this is it. Now, now, if we can provide these products and we can also provide some, some real solid product information and knowledge to go along with these products, and we can combine these products with, with another product that I want to introduce you to today. And we can combine these products with, with raw foods and fasting and light therapy and cold therapy and all of this mindset and affirmation. Now we're talking about natural healing, brother. We're talking about a real natural healing lifestyle program that, that touches all of the bases. I'd like to see everyone off the pills Personally, I know that in laboratories, the buff that they put in the mixture of pills generally is not good for the anatomy, um, especially your liver. And as we get older, you need to protect these internal organs best you can. So the natural way is the best way to go, in my opinion, as well. And this is it. So we got to get away from the acid forming medications because all of the medications turn and create acids or leave chemical waste and residue inside of the body. And that's toxicity. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Completely. So we got to get that out of the body. We got to get the toxicity out of the body. That's detoxify the body. This is why we fast. This is why we empty out the body for fasting to let the body begin its detoxification, its elimination process. Yep. And, and that's a part of the healing. We got to get inflammation out of the body. Now, the, the, the THC plant, it's it's great for anti-inflammatory inflammation. Is that the CBD works great on anti-inflammation? The THC goes to the pain receptors. Um, CB1 receptors will eliminate pains. Um, topically and endogenously, as I, I've taught lots of people, you can put it, say you've got a sore joint muscle or something, um, you can get at deep-rooted chronic issues by eating it. But if it's a muscle pain or something like that, you can go right at it topically with these oils or add them to creams, other infusions that are good smellers. Terpenes help stimulate the brain as well. But putting it on topically, the THC binds to the CB1 receptors just below the skin surface and it works as a great pain releaser the anti-inflammatory i believe is the cannabidiol plus the other compounds so cbd is the anti-inflammatory ingredient because yeah. we want to reduce inflammation and inflammation is at the is at the source the root source of all disease yeah and, and, and so this this is the contact and connection point for for healing of everything like we're we're talking about taking cannabinoids to, to begin the healing process from everything, from mental health yep. to physical health to sickness, illness, and disease, which at the root is all inflammation, inflammation caused by acid buildup in the body, which can be detoxified with alkaline lifestyle, alkaline foods, fasting, light therapy, cold therapy, all of these things to reduce inflammation inside of the body and halt disease of all kind. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I concur completely with everything you just stated. Um, for, for optimal health, we want to put into the tank the best we can. I agree. Um, habits, fasting are a great thing, whether it's food, technology, uh, a lot of behaviors. Yeah, it's good to fast it. I agree. Uh, even with the cannabis, you can go so long with the cannabis um, on a heavy scale, um, but it's always good to take a step back, take a fast for a bit, and then re restart into it because... Yeah, or switch, you know, use the THC, the one-to-one -one product, and then move back to the CBD product for a little bit, and then take some time off. Like, it's good to switch it up, and it's good to do both, and, and they both have benefits. There's benefits to the CBD, there's benefits to the THC, there's benefits to the topical, there's yep. benefits to the ingesting, right and dose really matters it really makes a humongous difference what the dose is and it's yeah. great to bring that dose up i think the active really dose is between 500 and 1000 milligrams a day that is a lot 
<laughs> and it blows I'd say my definitely mind. for the CBD. Okay. The CBD, actually, you don't need a lot of it for it to work. You just need it consistently to activate the body, the CB2 receptor properly. Uh, the CB2 receptor being the, uh, ner or, sorry, your immune system. Your immune system, all the anti-inflammatories, the anti, 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 I call it. Um, it's it's really activates your, your immunity system. And when you put your body at rest, it'll heal itself. So you don't need a lot of the CBD. You don't need to, to waste it. I would say take it consistently a few times a day. Don't stop. Just to stay consistent. It's like your, your prescription. It takes a few days before it really works. So you want to take it for a period of time and don't waste it. Taking too much of the pure cannabidiol, we use a pure isolation and it's pretty potent stuff. And it's, it's not the cheapest because of the process of extraction liquid to solid you got to put it in the beaker and rotate it to um, crystallize so that we can get it to, back to a powder well, talk pump. to me about that process like when you're when you're doing your cbd process like we're trying to retain the plant like this is the thing is that we've we've, we've been burning the plant yeah you're burning it's the plant like when we burn the food we denature it it's not the same you're killing things off the longer it's cooking you definitely are um, we have we have a basic a basic understanding um, of which compounds burn off at even which temperature, and that's why we've all switched a lot. Many have switched to the vaporizings instead of the inhalants. Um, you need to add some heat to activate cannabinoids because you want to have active cannabinoids in certain areas, especially when chasing um, Crohn's, colitis, cancers in the harder, harder ailments out there uh, but for the basic i mean this plant truly in my opinion should be eaten from the garden raw ideally um, ideally yes ideally like raw raw foods heal this is the true. thing when 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 we cook the food when we cook a plant it's just like plants contain carbon carb carbohydrates they're yep. carbon so when you cook carbon just like when you burn wood wood contains carbon when you burn wood when you burn charcoal, there's a there's a soot, there's an ash. Yep. You know, like when you when you when you burn wood and you get the ash inside of the the fire pit, and you got to get rid of that ash. Like you got to you got to shovel it out. When you burn carbohydrates, it leaves an ash inside of the body. Yeah. So when you cook your food, cooked and processed foods leaves a carbon ash, a black ash inside of your body. That's toxicity. When you burn the plant. When you burn the THC, the same thing. What happens? The, the, you denature the, the chemical. What does it do? Transforms. To what? Well, I, 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 as you add more heat, it just transforms into a vapor of combusted smoke. But it's an acid, though. It becomes an acid when you burn it. Okay. When you, when you burn mar THC, when you burn marijuana, it, it creates an acid. And, and that acid is completely foreign element from when when you ingest it. If you if you don't cook it, it's a completely different substance that's going in than when you smoke it. When you smoke it, that be, that creates an acid. When you burn it, that's a completely different substance that creates the hallucinogenic effect. Well, it, it does transform. I know it tra transform the the once you add combustion to it. It'll transform any remaining THCAs, THCVs, which are acids, over to delta eight and nines um, and things like that. As when heated, burning, when heated. Yeah, you're burning off the acids, the good acids though that that you need from the flower that you would get in a raw state. As soon as you kill it and start adding heat, um, you transform those acids into delta nines, delta eight, and delta nine THC. So those, those are the ones that create the hallucinogenic effect. Delta-8 and Delta-9 are the strongest hallucinogens. There are a few other compounds mildly um, add to the hallucinogenic states, but it's Delta-8, Delta-9. The thing is, when eating, as you find, especially in a large dose, you will activate the 11-hydroxy. and The liver produces the 11-hydroxy, which can be more euphoric than Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. 
So, so like taking high doses of THC, obviously ingested, will create an, a, a, a similar kind of uh, hallucinogenic effect inside. Well, if not that's a hallucinogen, but a little bit of a. I mean, you can call it a hallucinogen. It's just something your brain is unfamiliar with, because the pineal gland, I believe, in my study has been, you know, with the foods that we've eaten, with all the chemicals, the fluorides, you know, the, the airs we breathe, we've calcified and fluoridated our pineal gland. And what it does is it, it, it awakens it. So it's, it's a state of being that will pass with a consistent use of the flower. You will get high the first few times. It's a dizzy feeling. It's a groggy feeling. Some people, it causes the anxiety feeling but taking it regularly and your cannabinoid system activates, it all passes and everything, everything acts normal. Like I, I today I I've got my oils in me and I'm still just as spry as I always am. So. <laughs> yeah. So your body gets adjusted to it, but at the beginning, if you take too much, you're going to feel like that. Whoa, what's going on? Like yeah. if you're not used to that, go lay down, <laughs> down or relax for a second. It'll pass. Yes. Sorry, I just lost you there. You still there? I there Okay, go. cool. I apologize. My, my people are digging in. I told them all, leave me alone. So we got to get away from cooking the cooking the foods. We got to get away from burning the plants because when we burn the foods, when we cook the foods, it denatures, it changes it from what it is into yeah. something different. And that something different leaves a residual or a waste inside of the body that's not actually appropriate, that's unnatural, that's denaturing the, the object that we're ingesting for fuel. Yes. And what, and what, I've, what, what I've actually learned this year is actually, is really the connection to hydrogen. I'm not sure if you've ever looked at the, of course you've looked at the chemical back, the chemical structure of THC, but it's got a whole bunch of hydrogen bonds in it. Yes, it does. Specifically H3, that's, that's, that's a very specific free form of hydrogen. That's molecular hydrogen. That's free form hydrogen, H3. <laughs> and what's your take on how it's benefiting or disturbing? Like, is, do, you, do you see how that's, that's benefiting the body, the hydrogen? Yes, that's what it is. It's the hydrogen. I've spotted it now. I've realized it now that if you look at the chemical bombs of chlorophyll, okay, they are also hydrogen rich. Yes. If you look at the chemical bond of fruit, it's hydrogen rich. If you look at the chemical bond uh, of, you know, water, H2O, hydrogen again, like it's, it's always a contact to hydrogen to detoxify the body. Flush, flush it. Hydrogen detoxifies the body. But if you put the hydrogen under heat, then obviously the hydrogen is freed and it's no longer there. Okay. Now it's yep. not detoxifying the body anymore. It's been denatured. The chemical heating is denaturing the, the bond and breaking the hydrogen bond. Right. And that's why cooking foods just kills it. And that's why when you move to more of a raw food diet, everything starts to come back to health. Right. Makes sense. So, so it's, it's just to cut down on the, the cooked and processed foods and move towards hydrogen rich foods. Now, if you look at the, the chemical comp composition of THC, it is so hydrogen rich, it's insane. Like you can't find a more healing plant than THC. Uh, uh, again, preaching to the choir, I live it. I cut my finger yesterday and every Band-Aid I, I use or whatever with an open wound, I'll put the Rick Simpson type oil right on it, then bandage, bandage it up. No infection, quicker healing. The body heals so much quicker from, from this plan. It's amazing. So the Rick Simpson oil is magic healing oil and that's not something you can get anywhere. No, it's a budwashed indica recipe that was shared by a gentleman, Rick Simpson from Nova Scotia. Um, that helped a lot of people save their life just by eating this stuff. And since then, we've 
we've been applying this in so many areas. Me in the last six years, I've been trying it on everybody, every way they're willing to try. But this is, this, but this is not, it's, it's not allowed. Nope, not yet. The Rick Simpson type oil, they don't want to release for some strange reason. I have my uh, opinions on why, but if it's going to heal people, uh, less customers, right? Basically. Well, anyways, the Rick Simpson oil, is way too powerful for the average bear. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Alice goes to and the when I, and, when, and when we're talking about milligrams, I'm I'm certainly not talking about five hundred to a thousand milligrams of Rich Simpson oil. <laughs> no, no, no. A Wonderland goes bye bye. Alice says bye to the Hatter, and she goes plays with Neo in the Matrix. What, what I'm actually talking about is micrograms. I shouldn't say milligrams. I should say micrograms, micrograms when I'm speaking. So I'm speaking way too big when I say milligrams. Mm -hmm. But micrograms for CBD, that, that's, that's what I'm talking about. And, and um, yes, for RSO oil, we're talking about 50 to 300 milligrams a day, probably for the, the, the guy that's adjusted to it by first getting used to a tincture. Absolutely. The way I, I like to introduce to people is to activate their, their them with the CBDs. I know it's a little bit expensive this route, but it activates the cannabinoid system safely. With, without, yes. So you don't get the drunk feeling. Yes. The CBD is the way to go without the drunk feeling and to get used to the cannabinoids. Then you can add the one-to-one -one product. Yep. You start, work, this is a great topical product. As well, yep. rub on anything that aches or pains. Both ways, and, you can eat it or rub it. And then once you've done this for maybe three months or six months, then you're ready to try the RSO, which is going to heal anything that you've got in your life. Uh, I believe it'll, it, it will kill most any ailment. We can't say it's a cure all. Um, we know it I'm saying if you combine it with raw foods and you combine it with, with emptiness and you combining it with mindset change and augmentation and attitude and, and practice and physical exercise and breathing and intention, that I'm telling you that all things can be healed, my brother. Brother, my aunt worked in the, in the cancer center here, uh, Jervinsky Cancer Center for over 25 years in the chemo department. And she's been retired a while now, and it's been almost a year and a half, two years now. She's regular three grams of, of the RSO and two bottles of CBD a month. And she's doing great, doing great. It's amazing. My old foster mother just got back to me this week. She was taking the same uh, small dilution stuff from the, the, the government funded uh, licensed producers. And then we transferred over to our CBD. She said, it's been amazing. She got off her pills completely just by the CBD alone. And I love those feedback stories. Um, another gentleman this week at the garage, he had a shoulder injury, young um, mechanic, worked long hours, doesn't sleep well because of the nerves. Somebody who's had collarbone issues may understand and relate. Um, the nerves sleeping on it, he wouldn't get much sleep. He says, the pain's gone, I can sleep. So I love hearing the positive of introducing this with a raw diet to to and mindset. Every, pull it all together. Let's pull it all together. Make it a, a, a total healing program. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's make that available. I also want to introduce two other things that I that I'm you know been using for the last couple of months and I'm falling massively in love with them. So it's like understanding I'm unraveling as I'm healing myself and recognizing the benefits of fasting and autophagy and then feeling that and seeing that and then getting into these plants and then recognizing it, seeing it, and then trying to understand what is it that's making the change and what is the consistency here? And it's the hydrogen. It's Thanks. the hydrogen. Now in these products, magnesium bisglycinate, it's a very specific type of magnesium and there are 10 different kinds. Yep. So I'm, this particular type of magnesium, magnesium bisglycinate, are you using this? I'm not using that one, but I've used different magnesiums. My mother being the naturopath, she 
was a uh, uh, into all of that. Try this magnesium bisglycinate and pick up the dosage of this because this is this contains free form hydrogen. It contains molecular hydrogen in a free form. It's the only one that does. And when you start raising up your free form hydrogen, your molecular hydrogen, your body starts to detoxify massively. So you can take it in the powder, you can take it in the pill. I use both. You can start to raise up your hydrogen levels with your fruits and your vegetables. You can raise up your hydrogen levels with your fasting. You can drop your inflammatory response with your THC and your CBD, CBD cannabidiol. You can drop your 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 um, inflammatory response. You can get rid of you can yep. get rid of your pain. You can cover up your pain, and you can change your attitude by your thoughts and your words and your intentions. And you can grow your your inner light. You're 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 aligning yourself with your own source energy. You can grow that with your intention. You can practice that. You can heal yourself from within with new information, with hidden information by breaking through some of the paradigms that we've been fed with a lot of the ideas that we've been fed about needing to get something from outside of ourselves that's unnatural to make ourselves healthy and well right we i mean we do what we must to live a best um healthy life we we can we should anyway strive for that um you seem to be right on track with a lot of this stuff i've Definitely uh, like to hear about the hydrogen um, part of this thing too. That's uh, something new to me. So awesome. I, I I, I'm, I'm, ju I'm, just, I'm just understanding it. I'm just realizing it. I'll tell you, I started to share a little bit about it. I would love to attach some, some chemical um, molecular structures to show people because I, I, I put it on Facebook and they, they threatened to ban me if I put up anything molecular like that again. <laughs> So, so I, I'm not allowed to talk about molecular hydrogen like visually. I can't build the structure and talk about it that way. But, but I'm, but I'm trying to talk about it this way. Here's my molecular hydrogen water bottle. Nice. So I, could, I can throw water in there and just hit the button, and it, it'll make hydrogen water. So, yeah. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about hydrogen. I'm gonna be talking a lot, a lot more about carbon because it, it, this is the problem. This is when we're burning carbon, carbohydrates. We're a carbon being, we need carbohydrates, but we need the simple ones, not the starch. We need the simple sugars that are in the fruits. We need the fructose and the sucrose. We need the simple sugars, not the complex sugars. We don't wanna go through the digestion and the breakdown of all of that stuff. And we certainly don't wanna be burning that starch and putting that pollution inside of our bodies. I'm not saying you have to give it up, but I'm saying it's got to be on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's not going to be the most of the time, buddy. Starches and carbs are my enemy right now, brother. They're my enemy. I'm telling you, this corona lockdown, I'm living off of carbs and starches. Comfort foods, comfort foods, you know, comfort foods. You know, listen, we got to cut down the, the starches. We, we've got to cut down the meats. We got to cut down the dairy. We got to cut down the fats. We got to get more to the simple sugars, which is the fruits, the juices, the, the fruits and vegetables, the emptiness. And it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for a bit, but you relax on the weekend. You have a little bit, you fill up again, and then you get back to it. This is how we build a new healthy habit in our life. Hey, it's good to flush the system. That's okay to get to have the Get the trots you're gonna it. flush the system out yes you're it's flushing it out I, I i a very very uh dear woman i look up to miss um diane elms she's the homeopathic cancer treatment she's an iridologist as well very very into the naturals she has uh phoenix rising homeopathic center um just down towards K uh, caledonia um, Hagersville area. Anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about um, where we're going to go forward on this. Well, you know what, brother? I, I would love to, you know, create something together, like some sort of like, um, you know, distribution. Absolutely. Something together that, you know, we're, we're connecting and, and uh, creating a sort of business together where we're, where we're sharing, um, you know, high quality product okay 
for for a, for an awesome price. Yep. And and yep. I and got a good price the, for you actually right now. Um, I had a good chat with my friends yesterday, and um, the cannabidiol is our most expensive and probably most used product as well. Um, the one in one is a few bucks more than the CBD alone. But I talked to my friend and he said on the wholesale end, he can give us a great deal. He really can. Um, it would probably do us the, uh, a box of cannabidiol alone, I think has 52 or 56 bottles in it. He said he'd do for 1200 bucks. Now, if you were to turn and sell that at 50 or $60 a bottle, $50 a bottle would work out to about 2600 So, I mean, you'd be, be pulling in at least 1300 profit off of one box. And it would, it would just be a matter of how would you want to stock your shelves to get started um, as opposed to later on down the road. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? If, if, if really, like, we started to move – content like that awesome you know we'll we'll, we'll get, get a real massive order like if, if yeah. people are interested in in coming together and pooling together and and you know coming here to get their stuff if, if that starts to happen that then you know what then we can then we can do things like that but it, but it kind of takes a community like people wanting to reach here rather than going to the dispensary like they'd have to we'd have to build a bit of a relationship and let people know that we're going to give you top quality product at, be, at the best price, and we're going to beat everybody around. And, uh, and you're going to live to longer and have a better life. Go figure. <laughs> um, again, I, I I believe we can come to that uh, comfortable point where we can get a few of them boxes loaded up in your shop somehow. Just uh, let's let's do what we can to get you there. I like it. I got nothing but time. <laughs> I got none but time. My friend said he'll uh, he'll set us up a good price um, as we go. I told him it's going to take a little bit for us to do this. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like I like what we're starting here, brother. I like what we're talking about. I like what I'm learning. I like what I'm realizing, and I'm I'm really happy to share it. And you know, obviously, um, it's it's something that has to come from you know true relationship with people because. The, these things are not um, as so. A, a couple more videos. We put them up there. Throw them up. Yeah, I hope you we talk. We talk about it, let people know. Get uh, get information out. Share with people. Have have communication. If people want information, if people want to learn how to stop smoking, if people want to transform their life, they just send us a personal message, and, and we have a discussion, and we have a, we have a relationship with them. We yep. can create a relationship with them. For the time being, then, if, if being in the lockdown and stuff like that, you've got your platform already set up. You've got your stuff already set up. If you've got people asking you and just say, hey, let me see if Will's available. We'll, we'll bring him yeah. into the I'll, I'll zip over and I'll hit the, the, the thing and I'll pop on screen with you there anytime until we get to a point comfortable. And we'll talk turkey down the road. If, if yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Um, I like it. I like it. So we just go like product knowledge. We just we just do a call. We do a call and we we bring the pro right on the screen and we have a discussion about it. And uh, I mean, if we can get as much warning ahead of time before, of course, it's beneficial. But if it's a need, need be on yeah. a quick, sometimes I'm available. We book something. We we schedule something together and we do a call with people and talk to people about the product. Absolutely. Since you got the setup, it'll work that way. I can do calls like this and I know you can do your multiple screen thing and whatever works for me, brother. And if you want to do another Q and a record it that you want to put up on your high end fitness, I'll share it right to the counselors. Now you need to understand as soon as I put things in the cannabis counselor group, not the business page, as soon as I put it in the group, many of my people are going to grab that and throw it across the country. Our cannabis prime page has over 4,000, um, 4,000 followers and likes. Um, we, we have quite a plethora of people that we can reach with this and maybe help your high end in the process. I like it, brother. I like teaming up with you guys. Now, uh, how's your stash going? You good? You need anything? I'm good for now. And, um, but, but, uh, you know, I'll be in touch for, for some more, uh, soon. I, I hope that, um, 
We've captured some information today. We've shared, we've connected, we've made a plan. We've made a commitment. We've talked about a commitment. We've talked about a plan. We've been completely transparent. We've, we've spoken about everything. Yeah, I'm just trying, I'll do my best to stay on track and not fall off again, all right? <laughs> and, and, and if anyone wants some help with, with, their, with their products, they, they can reach out and talk to us anytime. Anytime, anytime. I work on a donation basis, so anything to help the cause. <laughs> awesome, my brother. Here, here for you, brother. Thank you, man. All right? You yeah, know bro. When you need me, give me a shout and a message, and we'll go from there. Okay, bro. Peace. Hey, man.